Ryan, for one, there's a lot of people here that are attached to this mural. It's been here for 25 years. But here's the thing. Rocket Mortgage is protected by the Visual Artists Rights Act because if you take a look, that's a vinyl banner and it's temporary. It's also not defacing or destroying the murals, so therefore they are protected there. Uh, but the artist tells me this has happened 18 different times and he just finds this to be an unfair legal loophole. Within Detroit's urban jungle lies the Wailing Wall. Some locals say it's a downtown Detroit landmark. I remember going to Tigers games, looking at this building, seeing the whale mural. I loved it. The artist goes by the name Wyland. He painted this mural back in 1997. Wyland says some people look at it and wonder why paint whales in Detroit. It's all about water, freshwater habitats, saltwater habitats, and the idea of having whales in Detroit connects that for people you know, that the lakes connect to the ocean and we need to protect both. Over the years, corporate giants have ignored its presence, covered it up with their own ads and messaging. It's legal hocus pocus. Oh, we're not painting over the wall. We're not removing it. Well, you're covering it with a, an advertisement, a plastic, you know, billboard. And um, it sets a precedent not only in Michigan, but throughout the country. Rocket Mortgage is the latest company to stiff arm Wyland's art. The attorney who represents his nonprofit says he's made every attempt to contact the company. So far, nothing. He's taking the battle to Michigan's highest court. It was challenged by the property owners, Detroit Media Group, uh, but the justices felt that it had merit. They reviewed it. They agreed to accept it on the basis that they think it could settle an important issue of law in the state of Michigan. The issue has some Detroiters conflicted because the banner actually features the work of Phil Simpson, a local black artist known for his depictions of diversity. I guess he's what you know we call blowing up. Yeah. So um, and this is good that you know he's also uh, has an opportunity to showcase his art. Steve Creech says the National Park Service approved the building for historic preservation tax credit for a period of five years starting in 2012. Documents show any advertising applied to or attached to the building in any fashion was not allowed due to the stipulations made when the property owner accepted the tax credits. You kind of base a culture on its art. If we start basing our culture on our advertising, it's kind of it's it's a sad state of affairs for our future. Well, we did reach out to Rocket Mortgage and the Broderick Tower leasing office, but no word yet. And keep in mind that the Michigan State Supreme Court only reviews about 4% of the cases on their docket. So right now it's just a waiting game for Wylan and his attorney. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, I'm Alex Bozargian for 7 Action News. And hopefully they'll have an answer soon. Alex, thank you.